We're going to discuss solubility. Solubility is the amount of solute that can dissolve in a specific amount of solvent at certain temperature. Based on the solubility, we can have different types of solutions. Unsaturated solutions are those that contain less than the maximum amount. Let's say that the solubility of a solute X is 10 grams of so, so, uh, solute X in 100 grams of water. A non-saturated solution will be that one that has, for example, 10 in 100. Why? Because the maximum amount that we can put is 10 grams, and if we put 5, it's less than the amount that we, the maximum, therefore, um, we will have a non-saturated solution. A saturated solution is that that contains the maximum amount that can be um, dissolved in that amount of solvent. So, let's say that we have the following statement. We can dissolve 80 grams of potassium bromide in 100 grams of water at 40 Celsius. Let's identify these substances as saturated or unsaturated. Let's say that we have 200 grams of potassium bromide in 200 grams of water. Well, if we look at this, it looks like the amount of solute was double. If that's the case, the maximum amount that can be dissolved into 100 grams is 2 times this, which is 160 grams. Since we have more than that, then we have what is called a saturated solution. The next case is 25 grams of potassium bromide in 50 grams of water. It looks like this amount was reduced by 2. So if this amount is reduced by 2, let's reduce this one by 2, it will be uh, 40 and we have 25 so we have less therefore the solution is unsaturated solubility is going to depend on many things one of those is the temperature as we increase the temperature most of the solubility of the salts increases as we see here as we increase temperature solubility increases that applies for salts that is not the case for gases for gases solubility decreases as we increase the temperature. That goes to a Henry's law. The solubility of a gas in a liquid decreases as we increase the temperature. That's why when we have a, um, a soda, um, if we warm it up, the freeze of the um, soda goes away because the carbon dioxide is um, less soluble. There are certain salts that are not soluble in water. Some um, will be soluble and some will be insoluble. For example, if we put sodium chloride in water, we have a solution, but that's not the case. For example, lead to iodide doesn't form a solution. For that, we use the following table. And don't worry about memorizing this table. These will be provided in the test. Any salt that contain um, lithium, potassium, sodium, ammonia, nitrate, or acetate, all those are going to be soluble. Anything that has chloride, bromide, or iodine will be soluble except for those that have silver and lead. And for sulfate, all the salts will be soluble except for those that have these cations. So please keep that on the side and let's move on to the next question. Sodium sulfate. Anything that has sodium in it is soluble. So this salt is soluble. Magnesium carbonate. So the carbonates and the magnesium, they are not in the table that were given. Therefore, they are insoluble. Lead chloride. Chloride was given but it says that anything that had lead was going to be insoluble. And then we have magnesium chloride. Uh, chloride, all of these are soluble. Magnesium was not an exception, so this is soluble. You will find that this table will be provided for you in a test. Don't worry about it. But you will have to predict if the salts are soluble or not.